Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Zodiac Bandit. Lately, I have been thinking about animations in Critical Role, mainly Legend of Vox Machina and the soon upcoming Season 3 and eventually the upcoming uh, Mighty Nine animated series, and it's got me thinking about Campaign 3 and whether that will ever get animated, and it probably will, but it has me thinking about other things that maybe should get animated first before they do Campaign 3, specifically EXU. And with this thought, I've had this conversation a little bit before in the past in another video I made but that was more so me suggesting they should this video is more about me talking about how I think they should go about it and I have two trains of thought so let's get into it before we get started I do want to say spoiler warning for EXU and for campaign 3 and Legend of Vox Machina the animated series spoilers for everything spoilers just click out the video if you're not caught up with everything critical role related ever spoilers my first train of thought is to literally just animate EXU the way you would animate the Legend of Ox Machina. So you would animate the Crown Keepers, you would animate Kaimal, and you would animate Calamity, and then you would just make a handful of episodes out of that. Uh, every season seems to be, I think, 12, maybe it's 16 episodes, I'm not too sure. But I don't know if you can make any of the, Calam or the EXU stuff that long. So realistically, I think you could cut out a ton of stuff from the Crown Keepers story, maybe even Basil Zan. I know that's going to hurt a lot of people when I say that, but you can cut a little bit out of uh, EXU, uh, just the first one, and then you can go right into Kaimal and make that one episode. So you got like five episodes there, and then Calamity, you could extend some of the fights in Calamity like, and make them really long and drawn out and have five episodes come out of that as well. So I realistically can see ten episodes coming out of just straight up animating whatever EXU has to offer and I think that'd be a lot of fun. Calamity does weigh into the campaign a little bit. We're now getting references to that in campaign three so I do think it's just as important to animate Calamity as it is to animate the Crown Keepers because the Crown Keepers is where we get a lot of the character introductions. Fern, Orem, and Dorian are all introduced here so for them to just appear in campaign three and have a history while it would make sense I would also like to see where that history comes from if you were to animate EXU as well, like I said, you can cut out a bunch of stuff or you can add to it. Uh, one of my biggest gripes about it was around Opal and how she's the one who ends up with the crown even though she was the one who had like the least amount of interactions with the crown. So you could plant more seeds into that and lead more into Opal grabbing the crown eventually. Or you could make it even less interactive with her and the crown and she just makes the tough decision much like she does in the actual thing but have a little bit less of a sort of grasp on her maybe have it happen in the background while everyone else is doing something and we don't even see it happen and she just suddenly has it i think that would be good or like i said earlier lead into it a bit more or maybe even lead into the sort of like issues that they all had they all had issues with each other because of this crown so if you start playing into that more and have dorian and dariak sort of go at each other even more in the animated show and like i said cut out a lot of the the stuff that isn't necessary because there is a little bit of unnecessary stuff I do think it would make a much stronger story to have like a four or five episode thing if you cut out a lot of stuff and then add more from the crown aspect. Because the crown, while it was always there, it was a background element until the very end. So if you were to make it a much more prevalent thing and have it be like the, the story instead of having a bunch of, you know, it was a bunch of small stuff sort of put together to make uh, the first EXU so I do think if you made that more of a story and yes it was always there like I said it was the ring and there was other things happening like the Lord of the Rings but it needs to have much more of a focus so if you gave the crown a lot more to do I think that would make the story a lot more interesting for a four or five episode stretch and now the second train of thought is to literally make the EXU stuff all flashbacks in campaign three's animation I think if you were to make it all be like backstory for the character, so we are introduced to Fern, Dorian, and uh, Orem as with this campaign starts, and as we you know start to lose Dorian at some point, uh, we start seeing flashbacks of certain things. Maybe even when Fern has to make a choice between reviving Orem and reviving Ladna, we get to see some flashbacks. Specifically, the one I had in mind was when she, you know she has to look at both of the bodies and she looks around. And then she thinks back to the original first episode of EXU and they're pissing off the top of the roof. I feel like that sort of thing would be perfectly played out for, you know, a campaign three where we learn more about them as time goes on instead of having that introduction from the animated EXU. This way it's animated just in campaign three in the Bell's Hells animation and we eventually get to see the story unfold from when they were with that initial group while they're here. And I think that would play off really well, much like how... Vax and Vex had their little flashbacks interplay with 
the death of Vex in the campaign or in the animation for uh, Legend of Vox Machina, this sort of thing could be the same thing here, where we intersplice some backstory from Fern, Orm, and Dorian as we go on into the animation for campaign three. I think this works a lot better because this way we don't have to have a weird augmented or like uh, sectioned, sectioned off portion of, you know, um, Prime prime video where it's its own little thing exu or whatever exu slash one shots maybe but i would prefer it be part of the actual story be part of the actual thing so everyone sees it one of the big issues that a lot of people had from going into campaign three and seeing these exu characters a lot of people didn't watch it because they thought it would be its own little thing and it didn't matter but then exu characters showed up and a lot of people got upset so if you were to make it part of the actual campaign three animation you wouldn't have this problem. It would just be flashbacks instead of it being its own segmented off thing. So, I don't know, I kind of like this one better. The only true problem I have with making this flashbacks is we won't get all of the good character stuff that we do get in the EXU stories. There's a lot of great character moments and a lot of good times to have within the actual story. It's one of the best parts of the original EXU. It's how well the characters do bounce off each other and how fun it is to experience the whole thing. The other thing that I want to point out about all of this is, is I want Matt to have a much bigger part of being in these animations. Matt is unfortunately not a main character in any of the Legend of Vox Machina stuff, so he has to sit in the background and be the villains or be background characters, but if they were to animate the EXU stuff, they would be able to have him be a main character in Dariax, and to have him be front and center in one of these would truly, in my opinion, be such a great thing, because he has been a background character or a villain the whole time. Yes, that does technically mean he's been a main character if he's been a villain, because he's been both Umbrasil and Silas Briarwood, but they're now both dead, so it's not really totally fair. He's going to be pushed back into more background characters, but if he is Dariax, he is there from the beginning to the end as a main character, and I think that would be great for him because one of the main problems that they have with voice casting in the Legend of Vox Machina series is Matt wants to just give out all of the roles possible. Meanwhile, the cast wants him to take as much as possible because it's his story and it's his world. And that's sort of the conflict here. But if it's his character who he plays, they have to have him voice it. And I think that's something that we should remember when we talk about animating EXU. And there you have it. My thoughts on what they should do if they were to animate Campaign 3 and if they were to animate EXU. So let me know what you think down below. Do you think they should do something completely different? Should EXU be like a section of movies? Instead of it being, you know, an animated series, you could have like a bunch of hour, hour and a half, two hour movies, and that's how we get the EXU experience, much like they should do one shots in that sort of way as well. You never know, who knows? I do think that movies for Critical Role would be really cool, and there could be like an actual theater experience as opposed to it just being on Prime Video. So, yeah, let me know what you think down below. I will see you guys on Friday for whatever video I make next. Peace.